If you have a piece of furniture that has seen better days, don't throw it out just yet. Try repurposing it with some paint. To show us how is owner and artist of the Etsy shop, Frisky Furnishings, Laura Vendison. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, these look fantastic. These are kind of in their final stage, but if you were just starting from step one, how do we get to here? Step one, you want to make sure you have a sturdy piece of furniture and you want to use a little sandpaper to take off whatever finish might be on there. Get the shine off essentially and get it down to a smooth surface. You always want to wear a mask when you're, when you're um, sandpapering so you don't breathe in that stuff. And then the second step would be to put a primer on. Uh, you want to make sure you've got all the sandpaper grit washed off uh, and then you're going to put a primer on. The top of this is primed and ready oh, so to paint. so this is in the priming stage. And the top of this is primed and then I've used a little bit of this um, blue masking tape to decorate the edge oh, so that once create we a stripe effect. Yes, I've, underneath the blue tape is uh, white paint. And then we're going to put a purple paint over this. You're going to paint the rest of this blue. Okay. And then we can talk about the finishing of it. So I just get started? Yes. Okay. And what color do I have here? I'll, oh, a turquoise. This is beautiful. You want to make sure you wipe off the excess um, paint from your brush. Okay. And, and then, then I just, just start I just get started. it on. And yeah. about how many coats are you going to need of the colored paint? Normally about two coats. And then after you put the coat on, uh, is there another step after that? Yes, we're going to take off our decorative tape and then we're going to uh, finish it with some kind of finish that will protect the paint. Oh. I have a few examples over here. Uh, there's a polycrylic uh, finish that it's very, very hardy. And then you can do it with a brush on or spray on. And then there's a paste wax finish, which has a kind of nice effect, but is not quite as sturdy. What kind of effect does a paste wax finish have? It's, it's kind of glossy and very smooth. It looks like um, waxed furniture. So I sometimes use that on pieces that would not need a lot of wear and tear. I wouldn't use it on a tabletop. Are there any, because uh, you have some beautiful finished pieces here with us in the studio. Are, do any of those have that? Finishing? Uh, yes, this one right here has the paste wax finish on it. You can see it's kind of a, a subtle glowing finish. Oh, it's beautiful. And since it's kind of a, a bedside table, it probably will have a lamp or a book. Mm -hmm. You're not putting mm -hmm. food on it and different right. things like that. So right. that would be a, a good finish for that. Right, exactly. Uh, and they're beautiful. And you can also, you've added birds to this one, or you could go really decorative. I couldn't do it. You have you painted a sunflower on a rocking chair in the front. Yeah, and I just want to say for for this kind of paint, I'm using a latex house paint and I buy these little jars that cost 250 to $3 at any of the hardware stores. And it is so um, this goes a long way. I've done several pieces in this purple and I've still got half the jar left. So, so it's very economical. It's so much cheaper to just uh, add new life to your furniture than throwing away and buying all new things. Oh, absolutely. No and it's, question it's, about it. You become proud. There's a piece in your house that you've done all by yourself. You've worked on it and you can use it almost almost as an art piece. Yes. Is that is that close to removing some tape so we can see how the stripes are going to come out? Yes. Now this would ideally need another second coat on it, but let's take a sneak peek and see what that looks Great. like. Great. I'll do it up here. Whoop. Oh, and that adds go. a nice little finish, and it was so easy. Yes, so easy. Oh, that's so cute, and I love the colors. And so, do you take the tape off before or after you would gloss it? You mean to put the final finish on? Yes. Yes, I would take the tape off after the paint, before the final finish. Okay. So that the final finish gets on the whole piece. And even your kids can do this because, I mean, I'm not very artistic and I'm just painting. So I'm sure your kids could just come in and help you paint and so you could spend time with your family and get a new piece of furniture. Yes. The other thing I want to mention is you do want to sand between each layer of paint and between the primer and the paint to make sure that you have a smooth surface that the paint will really adhere to. Oh, so after if I did this first layer, before mm -hmm. I started the second one, I'd go through and I'd sand it. Just lightly with a very fine grit sandpaper. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you for being us and giving us tips on how to make our old furniture new again. Great. We a lot of fun to be here. here. Thank, thank you. you.